against the run. What is something that uh, you think has stood out in film when watching them? That they're, I mean, they're they're pretty aggressive and they they do their best to try to control the line of scrimmage. So, I mean, with with them being that, we just have to uh, be physical and, and be tough up front. Next is Barry Trammell. Yeah, Trey, uh, going back to that 2017 Oklahoma-Ohio State game in um, in Columbus, that was sort of your coming out party. You got the chance to play, especially in the second half, and really performed. What do you remember about that game and how much it did to sort of elevate your stock? Um, I, I remember everything about that game. I mean, it, it to me, it, it felt like my first big college game. So, I mean, I, I remember it vividly. And I mean, I, I just remember just being able to to make plays. And I mean, it, it was just an exciting, exciting moment. I mean, and I was just trying to enjoy every moment of it. Next is Bill Rabinowitz. Bill. Okay, I try. Um, the offensive line that you're running behind, I know you had a good one in Oklahoma, but how good is this? How well is this line playing? And what kind of stands out about their blocking and maybe just their mentality or chemistry? Um, th- those guys are, are great up front. I mean, they, they make my job easy. I mean, they control the line of scrimmage. They get great push. And like I said, they make my job uh, a lot easier. And I mean, uh, just just being able to just get in sync with them it, it's gotten easy over time just because of how, how great they've been. And, then, and again, like they do a great job of uh, just, just getting, getting off the ball and, and, and just moving bodies. Next is Nathan Baird. Nathan. Hey, Trey. Uh, I know you've always considered, you know, being a receiver out of the backfield to be part of your skill set, but the, the Sugar Bowl was your second best career game there. It's statistically, a lot of it seemed to come on uh, Justin looking for you in these check down situations. Was that something that was just accidental that happened in that game? Was it something that you guys wanted to incorporate more? And, and, and why do you think that was so successful? Um, I mean, I, I feel like uh, we work on it quite a bit. I mean, uh, even during our uh, periods in practice. I mean, if, if nothing's there, then I mean, he'll, he'll check it down. So, I mean, it's something that we just kind of work on like like every day, it, it just happens. And I mean, in the game, it just worked out well because I mean, I, I would get out there and just kind of be uncovered or just an easy check down and being able to just get vertical and uh, just have a positive play. Next is Stephen Means, Stephen. <clears throat> hey Trey, uh, ACL is a pretty. That's a very serious injury. I know it's a it's a long comeback period physically for it. And there's a when you start feeling better then, but mentally, I guess when did you start to feel like yourself coming off that injury and you know working out in the spring with Richard? Um, really after after it was my LCL, I just kind of it it kind of took some time. I mean. Uh, I would probably say like as uh, soon as I started like my uh, my rehab and like getting off crutches and everything, I mean I kind of started to feel a little bit better, but I mean I, I didn't feel really good till about the time where I started working um, with Rashad uh, down in Houston. I mean uh, just gaining confidence back in my knee, knowing that uh, I'm I'm still explosive coming in and out of my cuts. What's he like as a trainer? Just you know. He, he's passionate and I mean, uh, he, he coaches you hard. Like he, he doesn't let you like slack off not one bit. And I mean, uh, if you need an example, I mean, he'll do it first and like show you how it's supposed to be done. And I, I feel like that's the biggest thing with him. I mean, if, if you have a trainer that can do the drill the right way and show you how it's supposed to be done, I mean, uh, that can just help you elevate your game and you just get that much more better. Next is Griffin Strong. Griffin. Hey, Trey, I'm wondering how you might be dealing with uh, the added pressure of expectations now that you've had these two huge performances back to back. Do you feel um, any extra anxiety or extra pressure that you have to perform in in a huge way? 
Uh, no, I, I actually don't. I mean, uh, I, I'm confident in my ability and and I know that I, I prepare well for each game. So, I mean, there there's no pressure. I just know I just have to go out there and just execute, do my job to the best of my ability. And I mean, I, I know that I'm gonna be fine. Next is Andrea Edelson. Andrea? Trey, you've shown a lot of uh, resilience throughout your career, uh, and it sounds like that's something that maybe you picked up from or learned from your mom. Um, just wondering how much her example has allowed you to overcome some of the obstacles that you have faced and just how important she's been for you in your life. Uh, she's been very important. I mean, uh, just seeing all the things that she'd been through, how she was able to just persevere, still continue to, to work hard for, for our family. And I, and I feel like that just helped me throughout my career because, I mean, I, I faced a ton of challenges, uh, a bunch of adversity. But I know that, I mean, there again, there, there's light at the end of the tunnel. So I just have to keep working hard. And I know everything will pay off. Next will be Dennis Dodd. Dennis? Hey, Trey. Um, I'm sure you've taken a shot in the ribs before in your career. I wonder if you could quantify what that feels like and and maybe what Justin is going through and went through when he got that shot, you know, against Clemson. Um, it's, it's extremely painful. I mean, uh, especially when you're not really like expecting it. I mean, it, it's pretty painful. And I mean, I, I know him, he, he's a tough dude. So I, I know that he'll be fine. But I mean, uh, again, like it, it's just not something that you want to happen at all, no matter what. Cause I mean, it's, it's just, uh, like I said, I mean, it, it just hurt. Next to me, Tony Gerdeman, Tony. I want to ask about Williams kind of coming out of nowhere a little bit, Mayan Williams. What have you seen from him this year and, and what's it like just to have, have him, having watched him grow as, as the season has gone on? Can you say it again? Mayan Williams, what's it been like to watch him grow this year? Oh, man, Mayan, he, he's been great. I mean, he – I just seen him improve from – I mean, since we first started camp. I mean, uh, you can tell, like, a freshman coming in, he, he was, like, a little bit lost, uh, just trying to learn everything. And uh, just to see how far he's come, I mean, uh, he he just makes plays, and he, he plays with so much energy and emotion. And, I mean, it it just gets everybody, I mean, motivated and hyped up. And it, it, it's a good thing to see. Next will be Patrick Murphy. Patrick? Trey, similarly, I'm – Interested, we haven't talked to you a ton about Master and your relationship. Um, what has that been like throughout this year, getting to know him and then kind of the back and forth with you guys both getting carries? And, and now as you've kind of stepped into the forefront here, how, is, how has your relationship developed and, and what's it been like recently? Our relationship has been the same. I mean, uh, we, we've always been there to kind of help each other out. Um, even like during games, like if we see something, we'll just kind of, give out some uh, tips just to help each other do better. And I mean, even in practice, like we compete, we push each other um, to get better. And I mean, that's just kind of how our relationship has been from day one. I mean, and it's still been like that throughout this entire time. Next is Donnie Woods. Donnie? Trey, congratulations on a great season and um, making it to a national championship game. Um, being more than just a football player, can you tell me a little bit how Coach Day and your position coach kind of displayed um, about treating you more than just a football player and about what happened yesterday? Um, did you guys talk as a team um, about what happened yesterday? Uh, we, we didn't really talk too much about it um, yesterday. But I mean, they they always encourage us to to use our voice and use our use our platform because I mean they they believe in us and they they trust us and they have the same views as us. I mean, uh, 
with us, with them setting the standard, we all believe in the same values and, and everything. So, I mean, they just encourages us to use our platform uh, the right way and uh, speak out on, on the right things. All right, Trey, thank you very much. We appreciate the time and look forward to seeing you in Miami. Thank you.